How do you master the Milton model in one hour? Now that seems like an insane claim and it is, uh, but the bad news already is uh, I cannot teach you the whole Milton model and master it within one hour, uh, but I can help you master 70% approximately of all the different techniques of the Milton model in one hour. Now it depends a little bit on you and your linguistic ability, um, how much you can master, um, but bear with me. So I, I do need to explain a few things so that we can go into this with the right expectation and in the right way. If there's a lot of stuff going on, by the way, I'm in the NLP training in Amsterdam right now. Um, and so if you're actually interested in training with us uh, here in Amsterdam or on Bali or Los Angeles at the beach or in Mexico at the beach, um, we sometimes train in Miami, definitely look us up. And uh, if you send us an email, I can make sure that you get some free products as well, free information, free products and NLP techniques. We have an ebook out there and an audio file out there with a visualization on it. Be more than happy to send it to you so you can apply that to yourself. Anyway, so a little bit of background. So the Milton model, uh, the NLP Milton model, a lot of people struggle with it. And there's different reasons for that, I feel. So the reason why people struggle with it, because one, when they're learning the Milton model, whether that is from a book or online or in a training, um, it's a large model. So it feels very overwhelming. So that's issue number one. Issue number two is you tend to trance out while you're learning it. And so because you're trancing out, it's hard to have the conscious mind to be satisfied that you are getting it. And so then your own brain gets in the way and says, I, you can't do it. You can't do it. So the issue is that when you want to approach the mastery of the Milton model and really learning the Milton model in a way that you can use it, you need to leverage what you already know. And that's what courses aren't doing. Yeah. So <clears throat> I can tell you when I originally did my very first official NLP practitioner training as a student, um, I honestly, I tranced out. I was like, what happened? Uh, did I just spend <laughs> the entire uh, explanation of the Milton model in a trance? And then it was another training and the same thing happened. And then the third training that I took as an NLP practitioner, because I really wanted to get it, um, I, I realized that not only was I trancing out, but also the using of all the linguistic terms, unspecified verb, universal quantifier. Uh, I was like, logical numerals. I'm like this, I, I would literally just zone out because of the linguistic terms. Um, and I also would zone out because of the volume, the volume of actually the Milton Mall itself. So the, the irony to me is, is that when I became an NLP trainer, the irony was to me that when you look at the manuals and you look at the teaching of the Milton model, is that all trainers seem to have copied their trainers and those trainers copied their trainers. And even when you boil it down to the original creators of NLP, who are you know, well into their 70s and 80s right now, um, they, they grew up in a school system um, and in the, in the place of neuroscience and understanding about educational psychology. Uh, at that time, and they're, st and they're still groundbreaking to this day, to this day, don't get me wrong, but there is some flaws in where they copied what we knew about education then. And as an NLP trainer, I was really tired of sending NLP practitioners out into the world, uh, not having a proper grasp of the basics of NLP. And I decided that, <clears throat> that of course, I'm copying all the content that is supposed to be taught. Um, to, to qualify for NLP practitioner certification. 
But I also need to, I also want as a teacher, I really care that people can actually really use it in the world. And I think that that's where there is a lot of problems in the world of NLP is NLP trainers that are applying NLP to teach NLP, but aren't understanding neuroscience and the way the brain learns perfectly, right? So let me explain to you a little bit where I'm coming from, because I know that this video may cause some resistance with people that took NLP training um, for some, some other company than my own, is that um, when we're born, we, we don't know how to do anything as humans, yeah? But when animals are born, within hours, they're standing, they're walking, they're communicating, they can feed themselves, they can even defend themselves in some cases, within hours of being born. And us humans can virtually don't, can't do anything when we're born. But by the time that we're seven, we can run, we can play a game, we understand rules, we understand the difference between mom and aunt. Um, we can maybe sing, play an instrument, we can write. And so we are learners. And so about 70% of our language acquisition is already in place by the time we're seven, seven years old. So then that's something that you need to leverage. So by the time that you learn NLP, you have already been acquiring language skills since you were born. So that's the first thing that needs to be leveraged, is to leverage what's already inside the brain. The second thing that needs to be leveraged in, in learning anything, but especially NLP, because it's about thoughts, emotions, behaviors, beliefs, mindset, and language, is that you leverage what the person already knows and then take it from there. So some students are here in knowledge in terms of language and you can get them here. And some people are already here, you can get them here. So that's how I like to teach, is to how can I leverage what people already know and neuroscience and the way and understanding how really the brain works based on the latest science rather than the technology of achievement of NLP that was developed several decades ago, okay, in the 70s. So here's the thing. Um, the way that the brain learns is in chunked information. So that's the issues already in an NLP training is that the time is too long. So in order to master the Milton model, you need to chunk the information and you need to chunk the studying of the information. Okay, so if you do this little trick, you can master the NLP Milton, Milton model in one hour, okay? So, and I've taught this to over two and a half thousand people around the world this way. So the first thing you do is on a piece of paper or a whiteboard or whatever you have around, I want you to write down um, on the right, I want you to write down um, 10 words and they're very specific words. They're normalizations, forget if I said that, if that overwhelms you. A normalization is a verb turned into a noun. It's a word that um, uh, you don't know who is doing it and how it's being done. That's kind of deleted. now. Let's forget about that explanation. That's the official explanation. But think of words, for instance, that are, you don't know uh, who, what, or how specifically it's happening. And often these words end are, are like values. And so values that you may have, or if you were to create a, a circle on the floor and you decide to put resources in there, that combined would be excellence for you, or then you will start to real, then you're getting close to what words I'm talking about. Often those words end in, end in T-I-O-N or itty 
or ESS or ENCE or ANCE, things like that. So think about what your values are, uh, maybe even your strengths are, um, or what you put, if I put a circle of excellence on the floor, what resources would you put in there? You know, and if you pick 10 words that fit for you, 10 words that you like, then um, you write that underneath each other on the right side of your paper. So I'll give you an example of words that you could use. Um, motivation, productivity, freedom, connection, uh, tolerance, integrity, honesty, happiness, serendipity, spirituality, strength, power, transformation, you get the idea. So I want you to write down 10 words that um, sort of light you up, words that you like. Um, and so on the left of that, I just want you to write down two words, large, that's the word and, and the word or, okay? So, so now here's the thing. This exercise will allow you to use what you already know about language unconsciously, unconscious competence, you have to leverage what you already know about language unconscious and competently, to now make language conscious again, and to travel from conscious incompetence in the Milton model to conscious competence in the Milton model to unconscious competence in the Milton model. So when you have these 10 words, you have and and or. Now consider and and or to be glue, okay? A glue for words. And what I want you to do is I want you to start forming sentences using and and or, or maybe even other words, it doesn't matter. Use and and or are just a suggestion. You can use other words. While, but, while, or badge, or requires, or whatever you, words you can use. And I want you to start slowly, slowly speaking, out loud, to the wall, with this paper in your hand. And I want you to form sentences with these 10 words. Now start slow. It's okay that you have hiccups. It's like when you're learning how to walk or ride a bicycle, when you did that as a kid, it wasn't perfect right away either. You weren't running right away. You weren't riding your bicycle right away either. You kind of fell over, you were stumbling, you were crawling, you're trying things out. That's what this is. And you just start forming sentences with these 10 words. Now, if you start slowly and then try to speed up, what you will notice what happens that eventually you have to go into a lot of repetition of those 10 words and you're using and and or a lot and maybe some other sentences as well, is at some point your brain starts to un, un detach from the words and your brain starts to learn how to master taking any value of any kind, anything that you put into a circle of excellence, any word out there, that you can sort of play. Technically, you could even do it with numbers eventually, right? So you could form sentences like that would sound like this. I want you to step forward into a place of one that will allow you to propel yourself forward into a place of two. You are powerful beyond measure because you can have three and four. And when you have three and four, others will wish to emulate your example. And as you push forward into this place of seven and eight, you will understand that you have eight and nine more than you've ever experienced in your life before. You can do A, you can do B, you are C, you are D, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. And so you, because you use the same 10 words and you go on repeat, your brain will eventually learn to do this faster, to do this with any word, you're leveraging everything that you already know about language. And what you will realize that when you go and when you do this for five minutes a day, for a week straight, 
and you do this maybe for less than an hour, you'll start to notice this, that you can master the Milton model within one hour, low stakes. And when your brain is used to it, like riding a bicycle, you will have unconscious competence doing it. So that's how you pull that off. If you're interested in more information, free products, um, just go to www.globalnlptraining.com, contact the back office, we'll send you in all the right directions. We have tons of free resources online. So maybe see you around here in Amsterdam doing the NLP training here. And that's how you master the Milton model in one hour or less. See you around.